Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So we want to look at to the properties of the salt Okay, in this acid base reaction We know that salt is a mass product Together with the H2O If we have an acid Undergo neutralization with base It will produce Salt plus H2O liquid So in this subtopic We look at to the salt hydrolysis Okay, and then we have to be able to predict the type of the salt qualitatively. Okay, we have to be able to determine or identify whether the salt is acidic salt or it is a basic salt or it is a neutral salt. And then we also need to be able to calculate the pH of the salt quantitatively to get the exact value of the pH of the salt solution that is produced during a reaction. So there is a difference between qualitative and the quantitative one. When the qualitative, we just know whether it is acidic, basic or neutral. What is the pH? Either it is equal to 7 or it is greater than 7 or it is less than 7. However, for the quantitative, we will have an exact value. For example, the pH is 2, 3.1, 7.5 and so on. Okay, let's look at to the first salt, which is a neutral salt. Example that is given here is the sodium nitrate salt. Okay, so how the sodium nitrate salt is produced is by the reaction between sodium hydroxide with the nitric acid. During this neutralization reaction, it will produce sodium nitrate and also H2O. So we know that salt will 100% dissociate into its ion which is Na plus and nitrate ion. Okay, so salt will dissociate into an A plus ion and nitrate ion and look at to the arrow. This is the forward arrow because the salt can 100% ionize. And let's look at to the first ion which is Na+. Plus. It is the ion or the cation that come from strong base. Okay, Na+, plus is the ion that come from sodium hydroxide. So when this is the ion that come from strong base, it is a weak conjugate acid. It is the weak one. While nitrate, it is an ion that come from strong acid. HNO3. So since that nitrate is the anion of the strong acid it is a weak conjugate base so since that both of these two ions that is produced during the salt dissociation are weak conjugate acid and weak conjugate base none of these ion can be hydrolyzed so due to that this sodium nitrate is a neutral salt because the concentration of the H3O plus is equal to the concentration of the OH minus which is 1 times 10 power of negative 7. So when it is a neutral salt, the pH of the salt is 7. Okay, next we have acidic salt. Example that is given here is the ammonium chloride. So how do we get this ammonium chloride is through the reaction between ammonia and also HCl. So when these two reacted, it will produce ammonium chloride salt. So as other salt before, they are 100% ionized. So we have this forward arrow only during the salt dissociation and it will form ammonium ion and chloride ion. So ammonium come from weak base. Okay, so that it will be strong conjugate acid. Look at to their properties. When it is come from the weak one, it, it is a strong species. Okay, and then chloride come from strong acid HCl. So chloride will be weak conjugate base. So strong and weak, only the strong one which is ammonium that will further hydrolyze. And since that we know that this is this ammonium is the strong conjugate acid, it is acid. So during the reaction with the H2O, ammonium will liberate H3O+. Okay, so if we look at to this 
equation it is ammonium this is the hydrolysis equation for ammonium ion so ammonium aqueous plus h2o liquid reversible arrow produce ammonia plus h3o plus so we said that this equation is the hydrolysis equation at the same time it is actually acid dissociation process so when it is acid dissociation process we will have a ka here okay why we have ka look at to the arrow it is a reversible reaction okay so since that h3o plus is the one that is produced during this hydrolysis it will make this ammonium chloride become acidic salt so that the ph of this salt is less than seven next we have a basic salt the example that is given is the sodium acetate so this sodium acetate is product of the neutralization between acetic acid and also sodium hydroxide so the reaction between these two will produce ch3 coo and a plus h2o okay and it will produce this and then this salt okay and then this salt will then ionize and it will form an a plus ion and also acetate ion so we know that an a plus come from strong base sodium hydroxide so it is a weak conjugate acid as for the acetate ion it is come from acetic acid okay so acetic acid is a weak acid it will mix acetate ion become strong conjugate base so as before the strong one will undergo hydrolysis a reaction with the h2o so in this equation it shows the hydrolysis process when acetate react with the h2o liquid and it will reproduce acetic acid ch3cooh and hydroxide ion see during this dissociation process or this hydrolysis process hydroxide is liberated that is why sodium acetate is a basic salt and it has a ph greater than seven okay what if we have ammonium nitrous okay so this salt is actually a product of the neutralization between nh3 and hno2 and then we'll get nh4no2 okay and then this salt okay this salt is then ionized tends to ammonium ion and no2 minus ion so we know that this ion come from ammonia so ammonia is a weak base so nh4 plus is a strong conjugate acid and no2 minus come from hno2 we know that hno2 is a weak acid so no2 minus is a strong conjugate base since that both of these two ion that is produced during ionization or dissociation of the ammonium nitrous okay they are both strong so both of them will undergo hydrolysis reaction means that when ammonium react with the h2o h3o plus will be liberated together with the reproduction of the ammonia and then when we have no2 minus react with the h2o it will reform hno2 okay our initial acid and also hydroxide ion so to identify whether this salt is acidic or basic is depends on how much h3o plus and how much oh minus that is produced if the concentration of the h3o plus that is produced during this hydrolysis is more than the concentration of the hydroxide ion that is produced during this hydrolysis reaction okay means that the salt will be acidic however if the hydroxide that is liberated is more than h3o plus then the salt become basic salt 
So to identify that, we can just looking at the value of the Ka and Kb. So if let's say Ka is greater than Kb, so the salt will be acidic. However, if the Kb is greater than Ka, the salt will be basic. Okay, so that's how we predict okay, the acidity and the basicity of a salt. So we have examples in this table. 18.8 neutral acidic okay, basic salt. Okay, we also can look at to their pH and then the ion that react with the water. Now we want to see the quantitative method how to determine the pH of a salt. So example that is given here is sodium acetate or NaAc. And then uh, another information is we have a concentration of sodium acetate is 0 0.25 molar. And then the Ka of the acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 power of negative 5. So the question asks us to calculate what is the pH of the salt. Okay, if you want to try to predict okay, the salt is acidic, basic or neutral, look at to the reaction that produce this sodium acetate. We have seen this before, right? It comes from CH3COOH and also NaOH. A reaction between weak acid and also strong base will produce basic salt why it produce basic salts because during the hydrolysis the acetate ion will produce hydroxide ion okay so let's look at to the quantitative method how to calculate the ph so to calculate the ph okay we have to write the salt dissociation so we have a CH3 COONA that dissociate into CH3 COO minus and also Na plus ion. So we have to identify which one that will further hydrolyze. So in this case, CH3 COO minus will further hydrolyze because it is a strong conjugate base that come from weak acid CH3COOH so when it is the one that will further hydrolyze so we have to write the ice table for the hydrolysis of the CH3COO minus so the concentration of the acetate ion is equal to the concentration of the sodium acetate Okay, given in the question, so the acetate is 0 0.25 molar. So that acetate is 0 0.25, same goes with the Na+. Plus. So the initial concentration of the acetate ion is 0 0.25 dash for H2O, 0 for acetic acid and 0 for hydroxide ion changes minus x plus x plus x at the equilibrium 0 0.25 minus x x and x so if we want to determine the ph of the salt solution we have to know the poh why we have to know the poh because this is a basic salt Hy hydroxide ion is produced during the dissociation so we have to know what is the concentration of the hydroxide ion to know the concentration of the hydroxide ion we have to solve our x value so to solve x as what we have learned in the equilibrium to solve x we have to use the k expression so in this case since that acetate is a base but the k that is given is Ka or acetic acid dissociation constant. So we have to calculate the Kb first. Okay. So this Ka is for the acetic acid. 
However, we want to look at to the base dissociation, the conjugate base dissociation. So we have to calculate the KB. So to calculate KB is equal to KW over KA. And this KB is actually also equal to the concentration of the hydroxide multiplied with the concentration of the acetic acid over the concentration of the acetate as what we have in the expression of K. So we calculate the KB by KW over KA that is given here so that we get the KB is 5.6 times 10 power of negative 10. After we got the KB, can, then we can solve our X. So write the KB expression and then plug in the value of KB that has been calculated which is 5.6 times 10 power of negative 10. Okay, and then both of these, their concentration are X. Okay, and then the concentration of the acetate is 0 0.25 minus x but we neglect the x value so we assume that 0 0.25 minus x is almost equal to 0 0.25 so the concentration here is written as 0 0.25 only then we solve the x so x is equal to 1.2 times 10 power of negative 5 molar and then after we got the concentration of the hydroxide Okay, as what we planned initially, we have to solve hydroxide ion, so it is completed. And then we have to calculate the pOH. And lastly, we calculate the pH. pOH is the negative log. Negative log concentration of the hydroxide ion. So negative log 1.2 times 10 negative. 5 okay we'll get the value then after we got the value then we can calculate the ph is equal to 14 minus poh and finally we get the ph is 9.08 if we look at to the answer that is given here okay after we get the hydroxide ions concentration then we can calculate the concentration of the H3O+. This is the second method to get the pH. From the concentration of the hydroxide, we calculate the concentration of the H3O+. By using this equation, Kw over the concentration of the hydroxide that has been calculated here. Then we get the H3O+, concentration is equal to 8.3 times 10 power of negative. Then, so from this value, then we calculate the pH which is negative log H plus ions concentration, then we get 9.08. There are two methods, it's either you want to follow this way from the concentration of, of the hydroxide ion, calculate pOH and then you get the pH or the second pathway from the concentration of the hydroxide ion, you calculate the concentration of the H3O+, and from the concentration of the H3O+, you calculate your pH. Either one. The first pathway, the second one. Okay, so this is the quantitative method how we calculate the pH of the salt solution. So this salt sodium acetate is the basic salt. Okay, the pH is greater than 7 or to be exact, the pH is 9.08. We have more examples. You have to be able to calculate to determine the pH of the salt that is acidic or neutral and also basic one.